Axtell Eagles Coaches Corner, a service of Blue Valley Technologies, Barry Bussin Construction, Axtell Trust Manufacturing, Eagle HVAC and Plumbing, and B&D Buildings. Barry Bussing, Bussing Construction in Axtell offers dozer construction and all types of soil conservation work, including terraces and water rain. Remember, conservation is the key to our future, and it all starts with you. Contact Barry Bussing and see how he can help you. Call Barry today at 736 28 Free three for conservation work. Barry Bush and Construction of Axtell, Kansas. Phone 736 2833. Raise your hand if you need more internet speed. It's time to get your hands on much faster internet. Don't settle for yesterday's internet speed when you have a home full of today's devices. Upgrade your Blue Valley Technologies internet speed now to the speed you need and get a $50 bill credit. If you're new to Blue Valley, you get two months free and everyone gets free installation on managed Wi-Fi. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash raise your hand today. For all of your heating, air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, and excavation services, there's only one call to make. Axtell HVAC and Heating. Formerly Dave's Hardware in Axtell, the guys at Axtell HVAC and Heating look forward to continuing the success Dave has built over the years. Offering all HVAC and heating needs, as well as carrying a wide range of name brand appliances, give Axtell HVAC and Heating a call today, 785-736-2714. Welcome in. Today's guest on our show is coach of the reigning eight-man Division II state champions, Eric Detweiler. Eric, how's it going today? I'm going great, thank you. Good, and of course I'll have to ask, how did you celebrate after winning it last year? Yeah, you know, we come home and had some friends uh, come over and we celebrate the evening, you know, the first title since 1993. So, uh, you know, just enjoyed the evening with uh, friends and the rest of the coaches and, uh, you know, our wives and such. We're back to work here 10 months later. How did summer workouts and everything go for you guys over there? Uh, you know, summer workouts went great. You know, I told our guys we got to work, you know, probably harder this year where, then last couple of years, where now that you know we have won this eight title, we got definitely got a target on our back. So, um, you know, I tell them it's harder to stay at the top than to get to the top. So, you know, we still got to work out hard, and I thought our guys did a great job of that. Of course, returning every starter off a championship team, not very many, if any, coaches can say that in many years. How big of an advantage is that experience when you're calling plays when you're going through these games? Well, you know, it's 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 a huge advantage to be quite honest. You know. Um, you know, we can take where we started left year and, and build on, you know, offense and defense as opposed to just starting over from scratch and, and teaching all these new guys new things where um, you don't have to do that. It kind of makes you more complex, I feel like, in, in the year coming forward. Throw a few more wrinkles in there to uh, throw everyone off. Yeah, that you know, that's for sure. You know, that's the, the plan every year, and I think that's every coach's plan is to, uh, you know, try to make things look complex and, and, you know, where it's hard for them to understand the plays offensively and defensively before and and you know where we have experience we can hopefully kind of do that and make that more of an advantage for us and i'm sure it adds a level of excitement too as a coach too but you're able to expand your playbook and do some different things that you haven't in years past oh yeah that's for sure you know we're always talking about new things and, and uh, whether you've got the capabilities uh, of doing that or whether you need to dial the, the playbook back and you know anytime you can expand that it always is always a great thing now, just as any team, of course, it's always a big factor going into the year, but how big a factor is health for you, especially going into this year? Well, you know, we're you know, the sm- one of the smallest. I think we are the smallest school in eight-man Division Two again this year, which we were last year, and, and which always means we got a, you know, a smaller number of kids out. And, and uh, you know, we got 18 kids out this year, which actually is a few more than last year. But, um, you know, health is, is huge. You know, you lose one guy, and then you got to start moving other people around where, probably moving them into some spots where, uh, you know, they haven't been comfortable in before. And, and uh, so, as, as always, it's always, a, uh, you know, to stay healthy is always one of the key factors. Another key factor going into this year, it always seems coming off a championship, motivation or the drive. What has been the team's response or your approach to this offseason and this year in terms of keeping everyone motivated? Well, you know, I treat this year kind of like last year. You know, I, uh, you know, always, you know, I always say winning's not easy and you want to, you want to be the champion. So you got to work harder than everybody else. And, and, uh, you know, like I said before, it's harder to stay at the top than to get to the top. So, uh, you know, keep that motivation in your mind where we got some huge games coming up in the first part of our schedule here, where, uh, we need to stay focused if we want to continue to win. Huge games early on, of course, um, looking for some keys early on in the season. Are you looking at any, um, thing in particular in your team? Well, you know, just 
<clears throat> you get better every day. You know, we play a team in week one here coming up in Care Paravel that didn't lose a single game last year, but they worked Keisha Shanktion, and, and uh, this year they paid their dues and stuff, and, and uh, now are Keisha Shanktion and are looking to make a playoff run and, and, you know, go off their undefeated season. So, you know, stay focused, you know, and, and take every day, day by day, and, and you know, we got a big matchup week one. Always a big one every week, especially in this division. Eric, I thank you, and we'll talk to you next week. All right, sounds great. The ND Buildings of Axtell specializes in post-frame buildings. Give them a call for stud-framed buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. The ND Buildings, specializing in post-frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call. B and D Buildings of Axtell, 785-294-0147. B and D Buildings at 785-294-0147. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call on Axtell Trust. 12 to 80 foot span. Complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems using only the best SYP available. Deliver to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally. At Axtell Truss on U.S. Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. Axtell Eagles Coaches Corner, a service of Blue Valley Technologies, Barry Bussing Construction, Axtell Truss Manufacturing, Eagle HVAC and Plumbing, and B&D Buildings. <laughs> 